you're watching another episode of High Events. We are at Water's Edge to witness the graduation ceremony of the University of Central Lancashire. Let's go inside and have a look. Today, esteemed guests, we commemorate another significant milestone in the rich history of UCL. On behalf of the directors, management and faculty of UCL, let me extend a warm welcome to the third UCL graduation ceremony of the University of Central Lancashire in Sri Lanka. You have no doubt endured many challenges along the way and it is a testament to your perseverance and commitment that you have reached this point of celebration. No doubt, studying through the hardships of the past few years adds further value to your sense of achievement. As you bask in the glory of your achievement, we also honor the dedication of your parents who have supported you throughout your journey and made many a sacrifice on your behalf. Congratulations to you too. This year's graduation ceremony is particularly noteworthy marked by a remarkable 50% increase in the number of graduates. The growth is a testament to the trust and confidence you and your parents have placed in UCL as the premier transnational higher education provider in Sri Lanka. Equally impressive is the fact that 70% of graduates have achieved first class honors and second class honors first division, continuing a proud track record of the first two graduations. This accomplishment speaks volume about your dedication and hard work, as well as the exceptional quality of education provided by our esteemed faculty at UCL. This example comes from Larry Page and Sir Gibrin, who met each other at Stanford. In fact, when Larry was considering to join the school, it was Sergi who took them round, took him round, and showed the university. Later, both of them as friends collaborated 
in developing a search engine called Backrub. And it developed later to what we all know, know as Google. In fact, in naming this search engine, they used or at least they thought of this term Google spelt G-O-O-G-O-L meaning one followed by hundred zeros. That is the meaning of G-O-O-G-O-L. That only shows the kind of vision they had. They wanted to think big. And that's how Google came into play. So you need to have a vision and think big from tomorrow in whatever you do. At Universal College Lanka graduates, you will have benefited, I hope, from a world-class student experience supported by a fantastic, truly fantastic teaching and support staff. You've all displayed significant dedication and discipline towards your studies and I have no doubt, none at all, that you will follow the impressive lead of those who have graduated from UCL before you. Whatever your futures hold, I know, we know, there will be many opportunities that lie ahead for you. And on behalf of us at the University of Central Lancashire, I thank you for your future contribution. The personal characteristics that you have displayed to get you to this point today, energy, commitment, tenacity, and most important of all, an open mind, will serve you well for the future and will help you to recognize and seize all the opportunities that are going to come your way. To express our gratitude for your presence on this special occasion and the enlightening address you delivered, we have prepared a small token of appreciation. of securing the third highest average among the graduating class of 2023, Shashini Raya Marambage. Awarded in honor of securing the second highest average among the graduating class of 2023, Dinara Fernando. This much coveted award goes to the student securing the highest average among the graduating class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you UCL's valedictorian, Heshan Vikramaratna. I believe that each and every one of you are going to be outstanding at whatever challenges you're going to tackle next, uniquely adding great value to that certificate in ways that I can only imagine. As we go on our separate ways, I urge you to keep in mind that taking chances is important most of the time. This is how we show people what you can really do, what you're really capable of. It's not showing off, it's simply being true to yourself. Because if you don't show people that you are this capable, unique individual, they will never know. Congratulations for the graduating batch of 2023. Thank you. Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, they all pale in comparison to the real superheroes 
who have always stood by you, your parents. The reality is that we will never know the full extent of the sacrifices which your parents have done for you. So that you as their son or daughter have the privilege of studying and making the best out of the opportunities available. All these sacrifices, I hope, will never be forgotten or go in vain. Heshan with me. So Heshan, firstly congratulations on being the batch top. But what inspired you and who inspired you in this journey? Um, I guess this was a field that I was very new to. So at the start I didn't have any role models per se. But I guess in life my parents were my biggest role models for this. They have been supporting me throughout the entire four years with every decision that I took, everything. So yeah, there we go. How did you balance, you know, academic and also your other curriculums you achieved in life? Yes, so uh, for me, sports is a very major part of my life. So because of that, I always had to manage time by doing the stuff as early as possible. So if an assignment was two weeks long, if I can finish it off in two days, I just finish it off in two days and then just go for the other words afterwards. I believe you're very focused driven and also something I heard was you're multi-talented. Is that something I heard? <laughs> well, so how do you balance all this? You just said you work really hard and you were very focused. But how was the support you, you received from the university? Yeah, the uni has been very supportive of everything. So whenever I have any questions or anything, I can always go up to the lecturers who are very friendly and all. And I can ask them for advice. And uh, even when the deadlines and everything, I could just speak with them and see what's going on. They were very helpful that way. I have Sean Meemanagay with me. So Sean, I'm sure you're very proud today as a father as your daughter is graduating. So let's share that moment. Yeah, I mean, uh, all throughout uh, you see your kid grow. You know, they go to school, they play with you. And it's like a um, timeline that I think back and how she got here. And uh, yes, of course, as parents, we are very happy and proud of this day. Also selecting the IT sector, that's very rare that a girl would focus on IT. How was your motivation your, and also how did you push her towards the IT sector? Well, I run my own businesses and all our platforms run on information technology. And if you do not have information properly, you cannot make your decision. So it's simple as that. You got to know your data and you need the science. So you need your basics. How was the support your daughter received from the university and also that she you know, went ahead on all her academics in graduating today? Well, quite straightforward, I would say the uh, initial administrative uh, aspect of UCL and also their general management of classes, very impressive. Mostly what I would like to uh, acknowledge here is the individual uh, attention that they give students because I think education, education is quite a personal thing and it's hard to do uh, with a huge bunch together. Here you have only about 20 students and I saw uh, she gets her attention and uh, you know the kids these days quite difficult when it comes to their own uh, aspects of attitude but uh, I think there's a great panel of uh, lecturers so uh, I mean uh, I would like to thank UCL for all that great work. I have Raya with me. So Raya, firstly congratulations and share the award you received today. Thank you so much. Um, I received a gold medalist for uh, without work placement category. And um, I am very, very honoured and very proud to be receiving this award given that my uh, peers are equally, if not more, so accomplished. So this is a very big honour for me. Thank you. Share your experience during the past four years. How was your university life like? 
I would say that my university life was full of fun and definitely I made a lot of memories uh, but with that fun came a lot of responsibility and a lot of hard work that had to be uh, balanced with uh, discipline along with the memories so I would say that uh, my experience at UCL was an absolute 10 out of 10. I have Aisha with me. Aisha, firstly congratulations on winning a silver award and how do you feel about it? I'm excited. I'd like to thank God Almighty for giving me the chance and my family for also giving me this amazing opportunity and I'm really grateful for what I've achieved and I'm just all around excited. <laughs> what are the sentiments you have you can speak about the faculty according to you? Oh, they were very helpful, they're very motivating, they see your potential and they really push you to your potential and they make sure that unless it's the best that you can do, they won't stop, they keep pushing you. They're all very friendly, you can go to them for anything and they're very supportive of what your goal is, so they're amazing. With that support system you received from the uni university, uh, what's your next career plan in life? So. Thank God I have a very good job um, thanks to the degree I have. I managed to score a very good job and from that point on I'd say it's just climbing up the corporate ladder and see where I can go with that. I have Mr. Ikram with me. How do you feel about your daughter's graduation and there is something very special because she's receiving an award as well. Uh, really proud of what uh, she has achieved. Like She worked really hard for her exams and as well as worked really hard in helping others as well so really proud of what she has achieved. Surely the university also pushed them and gave like an entire boost for them to come this far. How do you feel about that support system? Taking the university into consideration like they've been really supportive with her and uh, she they, they had a lot of uh, what do you call it like uh, uh, from the university side, like they were really helpful towards what she had to do, as well as like uh, the syllabuses were also really tough. And uh, uh, basically, uh, what I feel is like uh, the university has been really helpful in uh, in in her achieving what she has already done. I have Miss Sarah Priestley with me. Firstly, how do you feel coming for the graduation today? Oh, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Really thrilled to attend in person, um, to see the students and, and to witness their achievements today. It's a wonderful event. Um, both myself and Professor Sinjin Crean are really delighted to attend and support this event today. How would you express your gratitude towards the partnership of these two universities? So we've been in partnership with UCL since 2017. Since that time, our partnership has gone from strength to strength. We've had multiple graduation ceremonies now, so this is the third. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're doing really, really well. We're really grateful to UCL for their support and the colleagues that we work with on a daily basis, the academic staff that make so much effort and work really hard with the students to ensure that they are successful. How would you recommend UCL for anyone's higher education? I would recommend UCL on a number of fronts, one being quality in terms of the teaching staff, m most if not all of the staff or colleagues have either worked overseas or they've studied overseas so therefore they have the experience of UK higher education, understand the, the delivery and the programmes here that run in Sri Lanka. Um, the other area is the fact that, that UCL work very closely with industry, working with companies to ensure students have the opportunity for work placements, to encourage students to really adapt their real world learning in place, in placement with companies in Sri Lanka. So I would really recommend parents to think about UCL as a, as a place to send their, their children to study. We congratulate all the graduates in-house today because it's a milestone, it's a new journey for all of them. Stay tuned on our next episode of High Winds.